Jason Chow, what's up everybody? All right, we're in Japantown. I'm gonna give you a show around. Things have changed significantly since the fire happened where 32 people died. I'm not sure if it's connected or linked, but they've closed a lot of the KTVs and massage parlors here on uh, Japantown Street. Loi Thi, I forget the name of it. Lee Thon Tong, Lee Thon Tong. So we're gonna walk around, do all that stuff. So if you know, Sky Spa is like one of the biggest uh, you know, uh, full service spa massages. It's been shut down since two days after that fire. This whiskey bar is still open, but they run weird hours. They're not open on Monday. It's definitely owned by a Japanese. We have a new Izikaya joint out here, Izikaya 9. It's been doing very well. It's very popular. It's uh, got quite a queue on the weekends. As far as me for an Izikaya, I'm gonna go to Tori Show. I'm loyal to Izikaya, Tori Show, Yakitori. So the other ones are closed on this thing too. We're gonna take a walk down here real quick before it gets dark, because thou shall not film in here when it's dark. You will get the uh, hatred of a hundred massage hands on you. So it's just about to get dark, so. I was talking to a uh, subscriber and I rest. I told him I had to go, email me. I gotta go film this. So again, there's another really popular one of the massage places, closed, not open. So there's a few down here. So th there's one open down here. Let me take you down here real quick before it gets dark, before uh, I get shanked for filming down here. If you've ever seen a video down here where all the massage girls aren't running inside, that person has a hidden camera on and he is filming them against their will. So, not cool content at all. A lot of the bars are still open. A few of those got shut too. Now, you're asking why? Why are they closed? Well, because there was a fire that killed 32 people, rest in peace, in the outskirts of Saigon about a month ago. And the police came over to all these places and started to check to see if they had a fire escape and a proper fire system in case a fire breaks out. And my guess is the massage places that are closed and the bars and KTVs that are closed are closed for that reason. They did not have a proper fire system. Again, Japantown, not somewhere you want to really come hang out unless you've got a shit ton of money and like wasting it. I don't really come here anymore. It's just too expensive. And now that they're you know, Saigon's doing this weird thing. Well, it's not weird, I guess every place is doing it, but they're doing this thing where they are astronomically raising the prices on things to recover their COVID loss. Renters, all, I mean, everything across the board. It's pretty insane. I've been negotiating my rent with my landlord all day today. Quite the greedy woman. So there's one massage open down here. They're gonna run inside as they watch me come down. But I'll, I'll point the camera to the left. I don't need to have a massage chick on camera for a click. I'm covering up the menu already. It's okay, I point it that way. No worries. No worries. Okay. So here's Tori Show. Best restaurant in Japantown, hands down. I still haven't gone and tried this guy's noodles that I told him I'd come try. Oh, this place is new. This Amazon bar is new. This must have just opened. This used to be a Japanese restaurant. This was a Japanese restaurant too. This was a ramen or a hot spring or, yeah, it was a hot spring. See, those chicks were cool. They didn't even care. They were like, no big deal. We don't need to completely walk around Japantown. This is kind of just to briefly show you that they've closed quite a bit of the massage places. And I'm gonna assume the ones that are open, there's only two that are open, one here on the left and that one back there. And the other main three, the main ones are on the main street as I'll show you as we walk back home. But Japantown's good for food. So it's good to come here and go to like, if you're gonna drink, just stay at Tori Show and drink. The Sapporo Draft is affordable. Like the problem is, is when you go into these lady bars, they're charging like a $5 seat charge now. 
you know, the, the bottle of, of whiskey went from 1.2 million to like two, 2 million. So they were all down here last time, let's see. Yeah, the, so this one down here. This one with the blue sign. We're not gonna go down there because they don't wanna be on camera. I'm not gonna film them. But those are the only two massage places open. That one we just saw inside, and then that one back here. All the ones on the main street are closed, and a lot of the KTVs are closed. So I'm, we're gonna walk down the main street to show you that. This place often has a crowd. I'm gonna eat here in the next few days. Both these places, Izikaya 10. I think it's related to this other Izikaya out here though. That new one. It's hard for me to cheat on Tori's show though because it just is such a good product. It's not even that their food's amazing, it's that the place is great, you can smoke inside, the beer is affordable, customer service is top notch. It's just an overall good experience to hang out with like buddies for two or three hours and eat yakitori, which is like, it's not large amounts of food. You know, you get a couple meats on a stick, stuff like this. There's a new Korean barbecue over here. It's pretty expensive, but it is Korean. So maybe I'll go check that out eventually. I don't like its pricing. It's like Boringa pricing. And if I'm gonna pay Boringa pricing, I'll just go to Boringa usually. Or Matsumi, not Matsumi, that's the name of the other. Something with an M, there's a new one that I wanna try. That's like become the most popular one. Matsumi's like Udon. <coughs> so this place, I have no idea what's going on with this place. <coughs> it's never really open. He makes kebabs, but he never sells them. This place costs 20 grand a month the rent. I think 16 grand. <coughs> Like, no one's buying the kebabs. It's never open. It's really, really weird what's going on there. So, yeah, like, we started the video. This particular massage place is the most popular massage place pretty much in this area. There would be 20 chicks here right now dragging in dudes left and right. And it's closed. One of the KTVs down here is closed, too. We'll see when we go further down this way. Yeah, Izikaya 9. So I think they're uh, part of the same family. 10 is down there, 9's here. I'll try it. I'm just not in a hurry to. I've been eating a lot at home. Because I can control exactly like what I'm eating. There's a Halloween party. DJ Noze. Great. Vina House. Yay! All the expats will love that. You know, that place doesn't need a DJ. None of the bars need a DJ. People like, the expats like to go to those bars, like Seven Bridges and Pastor, because you can talk to people and there's no music. It's like the reason why they are popular. Kui Bar has been insane. On Saturday night, Kui Bar had like a queue of 50 people. It was popping off the hook. I just went home after I streamed on Saturday. The nights of 2 a.m. are well past us. And getting drunk. Gukaku, not a good barbecue. Hard pass on Gukaku. I don't know, no one can confirm that they shut a lot of the massages at KTVs just because of the bad image they had. Captain Venus on in a hurry over here. I no longer stop for cars, I just go in front of them. I don't care that they're in a hurry. I can wait three seconds while I walk in front of them. So there's another big massage place down here that's closed. I think by the time, the timeliness of it, they closed two days after the the, the fire people started checking places, it's most likely for that. And that it kind of makes this area look seedy on the outside. So I think a combination of the the two is what happened. Super cold beer, negative 35. Roast fried chicken, this is new too. This just popped up as I was gone. This looks like Korean fried chicken. Yes, yeah, a Korean fried chicken joint. I'm not a big fried chicken guy. So here's the other big spa that's shut. 
This one would have, usually have 15, 20 ladies as well, just sitting right out here. Say gamba. Cigarette lady, she's been here forever since I've lived here. Sagamba. Good morning. Come on, go. It's okay, keep it. For you. So, a pack of Sagamba used to cost. When I moved here initially, 10K. Now they've slipped all the way up to 17K. Inflation, almost double price. It's okay, I can afford 20K for a pack of hoons. So yeah, that's pretty much the tour of, you know, things are, are changed around here. I don't know if Elixir's still open down here. I'd have to go and check. Not really a fan of Elixir. Like I said, you know, a lot of the fun of partying in this area is gone now because the prices are just too high. They're depending on tourists that don't know the pricing and know what it used to be to come through and spend money. And for me, I'm not going to spend 80K for a tiger. I'm just not going to fucking do it. That's stupid. That's the price of four tigers. So they can eat shit on that. I think you could have a tremendous bar business if you decided to open a bar here, have Tiger, have Draft, have uh, some fancy beers, but sell your Tiger for the right price, like 20, 30K, and then bank on selling some good snack food and you could crush it. Guess what place does do that? The only place here, Five Coup, and they crush it. They're completely packed every day because they follow that business model. I don't know how hard it is for other business owners around that area to see that that model works so well and to go with it all right guys that's the video thanks for watching like comment subscribe see you on the next one stay frosty peace out A little outro here over the highway